Fortnite squad. Here are the five things that only the best Fortnite players do. Fortnite's been out for about a year and a half now, and suffice to say, it's been quite the ride. We've put out a lot of videos dedicated to helping our viewers improve their own skills at Fortnite, and that means we spend hours watching tournaments, scrims, and streams just for research. We've seen a lot during these hours, and we've noticed a few select things that only the very best Fortnite players do. If you master these absolutely revolutionary techniques, we guarantee that 60% of the time, you will win every time. Without further delay, let's get started. The most important and easiest thing we've seen is that all the best players in the world have Twitch TV or YouTube in their name. Don't do believe mean, us? Brother? Tune into a popular stream like Ninja or Daekwon. We guarantee that a solid percentage of people who kill them are Twitch TV or YouTube. This isn't even difficult to do. Simply log on to the Epic Games website, access your account settings, and change your display name. Seriously, how else are people going to know that you're good at the game if you can't even do that? I bet you're listening right now and you're thinking, don't be silly Fortnite master, how on earth does that impact your gameplay? Well Timmy, the super ultra seeker strat is once you've changed your name, you somehow get these pro players in your lobbies, and you even know where they're going to be in game. It's like you're watching their streams or something while you're playing Fortnite. It's completely overpowered, and a lot of the time, you don't even need to build. Epic should definitely remove this from the game. Next up on this list is your gaming setup. You know the common saying, you're only as good as the tools you use. If you want to be the very best, you gotta get the best and optimize your setup. Here are some tips on doing so. For peripherals like your keyboard, mouse, and headset, Logitech makes excellent stuff. Just look at this website. You see that picture? That's Bjergsen, and you don't get much better at playing video games than Bjergsen. And guess what? He uses Logitech. Ergo, Logitech is superior. Now, when shopping for gear, you gotta watch out for two things, price and appearance. If it's expensive, it's probably good. If it looks cool, it's also probably good. If it's expensive and looks cool, hell yeah, it's probably good. Damn. All right, now you've got your Logitech gear, but you're gonna need something else. You've got the tools, but now you need the motivation, and you know where you're gonna get that? Anime girl posters. You heard me. Listen, buddy. You can put up edgy rock band posters, fantasy sci-fi posters. Those work, but it's never going to be as good as having your anime waifus up there on your wall cheering you on. In fact, the more posters, the better. See how your motivation rises with each poster added? That's how you know it's working. All right. You've got Twitch TV in your name, you've got your Logitech gear set up, you've got your anime girl posters, and you're still not getting those dubs. That's okay, we're just getting started. This video is not even halfway through. The next step is setting up stretched resolution. We won't cover the setup here, we've already done so before. Seriously though, stretched res is lit. Look how easy it is to bop those stretched out hitboxes. Doesn't the game look absolutely beautiful? In fact, the better you are at the game, the more stretched you're gonna want it to be. Look at this lovely screen. Now stretch it. Stretch it more. 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 There we go. Perfect. All right, now that all the hard work is set up, you gotta learn how to properly handle your weapon. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. Now, something a lot of people don't know is that guns in Fortnite actually jam. This is what causes Bloom in-game, and it's why you always find your bullets flying around your target and not hitting them. It's super easy to fix this though. All you gotta do is clear out the gun a little bit before every fight. Just shoot a bit randomly. No sweat. The chance of your gun jamming gets lower the less ammo that's left in your magazine. That's why you've always found yourself having to reload right after you get your kill. Last bit, your bullets that you fire randomly have a chance of falling and hitting a random enemy and getting a kill. Talk about balanced and fair gameplay. Here's the very last tip of the video. To be one of the best Fortnite players, you gotta hit every shot. Just look at all of these people getting lasered. You can't call yourself the best and not be able to do that. You gotta be so good that you can do what you're about to see. 
The very best players are so good at aiming, they don't even need to look at their screen. This is what true mastery looks like. Good luck. Let's go! Come on! 